Ancient danger number one. What is behind door number one? Hello again, everyone. We are Gaming by Gaslight. Welcome back to another episode of RimWorld. It's, it's been a while since the last episode. I, I do apologize for that right off the bat. Um, my, my reasoning that there's life, life's been kind of hectic for me. And I've also noticed that, uh, the views on this series were kind of uh, dwindling for a while. So I may have prematurely decided to, um, yeah, cut this one loose, but then I noticed that like stuff was kind of going back up. So it made me figure, ah, uh, maybe it was just, you know, YouTube was like delaying the, anyway, it doesn't matter what was happening. Basically I decided to, uh, come back and try to finish things. We're a little bit ahead of where we were last time as we reload in here. Uh, basically you didn't miss anything. It's been really quiet. Uh, since the end of the last episode. Basically, all we did, uh, last episode, what did we do? It's actually been like a week since I recorded. Um, there was a bandit camp. We cleared that out. I'm pretty sure we did all that on camera. And then there was like a place next to it with the, um, the what? The, ah, this, this thing right here, the vanometric power cell. You didn't miss anything with that. There was like basically nothing there. It was just, just the cell. So, we picked that up and then I I was just gonna like keep going but then it okay that's nice I don't we don't really need any of those things and it's also pretty much out of our way so we're probably not gonna do that particular quest anyway yeah you didn't miss anything basically I was gonna just keep traveling and then cut back in when something interesting happened but then it turned out that uh, yeah, it's really, really freaking cold, and thus, thusly, we're probably going to be sitting here until springtime because it is a little bit too cold for us to make any real uh, progress. So we'd have to be like stopping, and since we can't just like set up camp or anything, since this is a, a purely vanilla playthrough, we just I don't even know what I'm harvesting at this point. Just Anything there is to harvest on this particular map, I guess. There's also an ancient danger here, which uh, we missed one ancient danger on our main base, as I recall. Actually, that might be an ancient danger too. We're, we'll we'll check this stuff out before we leave, because you know we kind of kind of disappointingly didn't see what that other ancient danger was on our original map. So you know we should like totally check out all of this. Anyway, here's where we are. Life is good. I'm happy. And we are not dead, so, you know, can't really complain, I guess. I mean, we could, but what would be the point? Such is life. Oh yeah, we also have another muffalo, and several of our muffalo... I've also decided to just name them all. Yeah, we all, we've all got names now. We're all the little muffalos, so I like that. All muffalo should have a name, in my personal opinion. And life is good. I just kind of like randomly rolled names. They're not terribly great names, but they're not bad names either. So we've got that going. Also, let's uh, switch priorities just a little bit. Also, it is really, really ridiculous just how much power this thing gives off. Like a thousand watts. That's pretty nice. I don't even think I really needed this. I just kind of have it for the sake of having it. It's actually, yeah, it's, it's probably a bit too cold in here. It's also a lot of... A lot of animal filth piling up. That's less good as well. And I would also, I think, for... Oh, yeah, Hercules. We've already got him, but... Thinking to myself, maybe uh, some muffalo wool. I mean, we've already built one for Hercules, but... We might want some others. I also acquired some kibble somewhere. Where did I do that? I don't know. Maybe it dropped from the sky, because we've had several drops from the sky. So that's good. Like, just really random things, like drugs and kibble, apparently, and other things. Good old Randy. You can always trust him to drop weird and wacky and fun stuff. Which is good. Anyway, um, what else do we want to make? I guess some plain lever bedrolls. I mean, we might as well make extra bedrolls. You know, just, just because. They also might, uh, liven the place up a little bit. Cancel that, build a copy of... You know what, we, that, this is probably too many. 
Let's leave it at that. Also, that helmet is from the, uh, the bandit camp we did, isn't it? Caravan request. 55 components for a charge lance and another bionic arm. I'll be honest. That is actually kind of tempting. How many days will this take? Let's see, too cold for 4.5 more days, 14 days of travel, it's too cold for us to probably actually make this because we'd have to keep stopping. But I mean, let's see, this road does con like continuously connect all the way, yeah, it, like it reconnects to the road we were going to take anyway in order to get down to here. So we could go that way actually. I mean, another bionic arm. Also, I suggested that I uh, give Pliskin the bionic arm, but do we have anyone who's got, like, scars on their arms? I mean, and Molly's got a bionic eye there. Gotta find another bionic eye so we can get rid of this one. Though even with just the one bionic eye, his eyesight is already better than it was before. And I guess if we get you a bionic leg, you're okay. If we could get you a bionic neck, I mean, that's totally not a thing, but that would be cool if it was. Oh, and you lost uh, some... Oh, you've got a bad back. So, bionic spines for everyone. And Nelly has hypothermia. Yeah, you see? That's, uh... That's why we can't really do any traveling at the present time. Oh, look at that Winnie hanging out with, uh, Pliskin and Hercules here. How, um... I assume if this gets down to zero, then, uh... He'll just instantly join us, and possibly in the meanwhile, he could instantly join. I'll be honest, I'm not entirely sure what this means, because we don't have like a little tooltip when I hover over it, explaining what, uh, what exactly resistance represents, but... Low mood. Let's see here. Optimist, eight with a table, friend wool died, I mean, oh, that's actually almost gone. Awful prison cell. Oh, it's not that bad. I mean, it's kind of bad. Slept in the heat, so it's apparently too hot for him. Unsightly environment. Cramped interior. Minor pain. Oh, it's not that cramped. Oh, and he's got a gunshot thing. So if we could do something about that, that'd be great. But you know, I'm not. I'm not counting on it. Yeah, let's clean some of the trash in here, shall we? Make the place a little nicer. There's a lot of, uh, a lot of meat. We'll be able to make a lot of meals. They'll probably all instantly rot, but it's all good. It really is. I, I'm, I'm confident that life is going to be, f ooh, another ancient danger. All right. So what do you want to bet? It's like another insect hive. That would be interesting. Of course, it could be mechanoids. Of course, there might not actually be any danger in there. I'm not going to count on that, of course, but a man can hope. And where there is hope, there is stuff. And where there is stuff, life uh, life finds a way and, and, and things. Oh, good. We're actually making more, uh, more of these, which is good. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to unforbid all of these. All these stacks because at this point it really it's not that big a deal as far as I'm concerned all right good ah there is so much animal filth in here that's very unfortunate but you know life goes on let's see good good normal and good I'm gonna get rid of the normal quality one because it's only normal and Mal yeah go go somewhere else like your poor, your poor bad back. That's actually a, uh, let's see here. Yeah, from your bad back and also your, your lack of spine and, and arm. Well, actually, you know what? Maybe I'll get you a, maybe I'll give you, an, oh, it's too bad it wasn't like your right index finger because then we could save all of the trouble with just one operation. We only, we only have like, do we act? Wait, wait. Do we actually have? Oh yeah, we've got. I don't know if I want to do a like a body arm transplant operation on an old man. Uh, hmm. 
I mean, it was suggested a few episodes back that I give that arm to Pliskin. I mean, that wouldn't be a terrible idea. I think, I think manipulation affects shooting. Let's actually uh, look at that, shall we? Um, bu -bu 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 -bu, body size, carrying diet, combat, uh, shooting accuracy. Yeah, let's see here. So what is it affected by? His shooting skill, his, okay, by manipulation and sight. Post-process curve. I don't know what that means, but okay. So his shooting accuracy is 96%, and then it goes down as we get further away. That makes sense. So, yeah, maybe giving him some more arms of a bionic nature would be good, but then again, I think we might want to have at least regular, if not uh, glitter world medicine before we, uh, you know, really start doing anything with that, just to be safe. All right, let's see here. 20 of 28 days and 13 of 28 days. So, yeah. Our, oh, wait, why did I call you Shiva? You're a male. Didn't really pay attention to that. Um, Shiva's not really a male's name, as far as I know. We'll just call you Shiv instead. That's, that's, that's a, a fine, upstanding name for a young muffalo. Probably. Possibly. I mean, we don't really need two males, but... I, I do want lots of pack animals, so I'm not really gonna do anything about that. What is this? Hauling berries. You know what, Mal? I am going to uh, restrict you to the home zone, if you don't mind. I appreciate you trying to help, but I, I don't want you having a major break all over the place. Also, we really do need to clean up all this animal filth, because that's just... It's going to affect the odds of, you know, our, our food being poisoned and stuff, and... I, I don't really want food poisoning. Because that would be bad. And bad things are bad, so we don't want them. Yeah, let's let's get some more berries. Kind of odd to me that there's actually berries in the middle of winter, but... You know, don't, don't question these things. Let's just uh, enjoy it while we've got it. And we can make some more survival meals so that stuff doesn't rot away. Which is good. Actually, man, there's... We have harvested a lot of berries. I'm actually thinking maybe I should make a never stove. A fueled one this time so that we can uh, in increase our... I should build a, a research station as well, honestly. Uh, doodly doodly do. Electric stove. I mean, we've got a little... We should be able to... We should be able to do something with that. This is gonna be great. Though, I, I think what's going to happen is, after this episode, I'm going to skip ahead until we're ready to travel again. Alright. Got a shooting friend. Oh, you know, but, you know what, if, if that's how I'm... If that's what I'm thinking of doing, then I suppose... That, uh... What am I doing? There we go. That's much better. Or what's this? What did I have? This... Yeah, 500, 500. It, it's great. And then after that, simple meal. Do until you have... 100. There we go. And of course, we only want the finest of chefs. Actually, I think we... What is the... Yeah, we need a minimum skill of 8 anyway. Oh, and we're actually out of wood. So, that is mildly problematic. Let's, uh... Let's harvest some. There we go. A little bit more wood. Just to make sure we stay on top of things. Huh. Yeah. Anyway, life is good. We, I mean, we've got plenty of resources. I'm actually kind of baffled, like, just given how cruel and unusual this particular, uh... Actually, honestly, I mean, minus 28, that's like... Those are rookie numbers for someone here in Canada. I mean, come back to me when it's like minus 40 without the wind chill factor. Then you can start talking about cold. I love every minute of it. Because the cold is where it's at, man. The cold is where it's at. Are you guys just like talking to each other instead of Hercules? Trying to trying to maybe make him feel a little guilty? We'll get him eventually. I mean, my understanding, like, 
even without the tooltip, and I've been kind of like talking about not being entirely sure how this works, I assume that's basically just get this down to zero and then they'll join the colony. So it becomes like rather than a thing of luck, it becomes a matter of attrition. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold your horses there, doggo. Uh, no vegetarian in our simple meals. That's, uh, yeah. Don't waste these berries. Ooh, a chunk of uh, spacecraft has landed. Oh yeah, you know what? Seeing as we didn't go right away, there's almost no chance that we're actually going to... Um, yeah, end up... Uh, okay, l listen, Pliskin, I, I appreciate your enthusiasm, but... Uh, I don't really need you making all these simple meals. I'd rather... Like, we'll get to that, but... While we've got some berries still, might as well, yeah, get everything all taken care of. Also, you know what? I have this weird memory of there being like a vegetarian trait in RimWorld at some point. But I don't recall ever like seeing it in some time. So maybe it was never actually a thing or maybe it was a mod thing. Anyway, my thoughts are getting distracted once again. We have two ancient dangers to deal with. The episode is almost over. So... Well, then again, it, it, with it being minus 32 outside and everyone suffering from hypothermia, I don't know if I really want to pop this open. But Pliskins are, are like super fast man of the hour, so yeah. He'll be able to run away if uh, there's something really bad inside. Alright, let's find out what we're dealing with. Alright. Ancient danger number one. What is behind door number one? You know, I probably should. Oh, sweet, merciful baby. Jeebus. Ooh, what's this? Healer. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, one more time. Also, Luciferium. This healer mech serum. I should use that on. Actually, probably on Mal. I was going to say use it on uh, Rascal because of the next scar. But assuming it can restore bad backs, actually, what, what's the story about these anyway? One use super dose of mechanites tuned to heal health conditions. Mechanites will target and heal the single worst health condition. Oh, so it only gets rid of one at a time anyway. Works even on health conditions that would otherwise be incurable. Okay, even transmute into organic manner. Oh, so if we had or matter, not manner. Okay, so we actually like really, really want this. I'm gonna. Uh, you to run away if we can get if we oh god run pliskin run okay let's get everyone else to uh like form up out here and if pliskin can lure the horde over come on hit it hit it hit it one more time okay good you you've got them i mean if we can lure the horde over here, then we can kill them. And due to the bad temperature, this should, uh, I think it should get destroyed on its own, possibly, maybe. All right, let's keep an eye on things here. I mean, there's a part of me that wants to let it, uh, produce some insect jelly before we get rid of it, but, uh, I like the minimum range now, by the way. I don't think I've commented on that, but that's a, that's a thing that exists. Oh, 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 hold on, hold on. There we go. Keep them, keep them hungry for more. I mean, there's, there's actually a, a, a relatively large number of these things. I should probably create an indoor area. Just so that we do not completely get murder boned. There we go. And this will, this basically is going to exist to protect our animals from getting murdered. And boned. And the rest of us. Well, then again, if we can outrun them. Like, the one I've been shooting. Oh, it's not even in any immediate danger. That's. Well, then again, if I can keep them all on Pliskin. Then, uh. Oh, why? Why? I'm an idiot. I should have, uh. Been a little bit closer. So that we could like trap him over the marsh. Oh god, don't. Okay, we we took one of them out. 
Okay, let, let's have Pliskin stop here. I mean, I'm I'm reasonably confident. Yeah. Oh god. Yeah, keep running, Pliskin. Look at that, he can outrun the bugs. What a boss. What a god among men. Truly, he is the greatest. Pliskin by himself represents the greatest generation of all time. Anyway. Also, there's something in my eye here. Which is generally less than good. Uh, what what is it that we want? We want to get rid of insect flesh. We don't want to be eating insects. Yeah, no insect meat. That's good. Uh, simple meals, also no insect meat. Insect meat is off by default, but we will butcher it. Just, you know, just so that we have uh, the ability to do stuff with it. Also, uh, yeah, rotten and flesh. Uh, turn everything off. Turn on raw food, just insect meat, because we're gonna. I'm gonna butcher it just for like the uh, the experience points. If, you know, if we have the time, which we probably do. Man, that was actually pretty easy. I'm proud of myself. That was good. That was pretty cool. And you know what? Someone will hunt hunt this uh, mega spider eventually, or or not. Can I really not uh, hunt it? Apparently not. Oh well, that doesn't matter to me. Uh, which ancient danger was this? Probably the, yeah, this top one. Alright, good. I mean, I guess we might even want to try opening this so we can see what's going on in here. And, uh... Okay, Mally is taking care of that. Good for him. How are you doing? Oh, wait, wait, wait. I could get rid of his cataract. But honestly, I think I, I want to get rid of, um... Well, then again, what counts as worse? The lost index finger or the spine? I, I would personally assume the bad back is the, like, more bad thing. But it could be... It could be the, uh, the other thing. I want to... I mean, if we can rescue some people, that would be great as well. Because you always want bigger numbers. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Totally forgot. Let's, uh... Let us, uh, first of all, don't allow rotten. Second of all, let's get rid of insect meat. I don't want insect meat being stored here. There we go. Someone will get rid of that eventually. For now, though, let's not worry about it. I don't want to cook it in anything. I don't want to do anything with it. We'll just butcher them and then carry them off. Really good. Exactly. Just like that. Oh, yeah, I suppose we can, uh... Send this to the home zone. And I guess it's also about time to end this episode, so we will. And I guess uh, until the next time, as always, thank you all for watching. Thank you all. Yeah, thank you all for watching. Don't know where my mind is going there. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button or maybe leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you're thinking. And I will see all you in the next video.